hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we are going to start working on our main activity for our social networking app which is just like facebook twitter and instagram so let's do it so go to the android studio and since you guys know that we have successfully connect our this social networking app to the firebase in the last in the previous video tutorial okay so now let's work on our main activity uh, this will be this main activity will be our home you can say our home activity basically where we will display all the post and also we will add a navigation drawer okay so click on this activity main.xml file okay let me expand these uh, files okay so this will be inside this java okay this is our main activity dot, uh, dot java file and inside the layout we have activity main.xml okay so first of all click on this text and from here you can simply change this constant layout for now we will change uh, to uh, we will change it to relative layout okay but now we will uh, we will be uh, changing it to the driver layout uh, driver layout as you know that we will add a uh, i mean in order to display the user information the profile information we will use a uh, drawer layout okay where we will display the all the important functionalities of this social networking app so you can see that this is our relative layout okay and you can simply go to the here you can see this values click on it and click on it and here from here you can simply click on styles.xml and from here you can see that this is a dark action bar okay so simply change it to no action bar and the second thing is click on this colors.xml and let's choose the color primary color dark and color ascent for our app okay so from here you can simply remove this first code the color code and let's give it beautiful colors i mean the default color for our app so we can use this ed 4c54 okay so this is you can see that this is this will be our color primary and the code you can see that this one is the code okay which is hash small e small d 4 small c and 5 4 okay so this is the color code for our color primary now let's change the color uh, primary dark okay so remove this 6 7 small c 4 1 5 okay so you can see that this green color okay it is not basically the green but it is uh, just like a green color okay so this will be our color primary dark for this app and let's change the color ascent also okay so this will be capital e 9 capital e capital b capital e and capital e okay double capital e so you can see that this is e9 e b e e okay so this is our uh, color ascent okay which is this color so this will be our default color now you can simply close this st styles and these colors or, and if you come to the activity main.xml then you can see that uh, it's look beautiful okay so this is our basically the default color for it okay because we have to make a beautiful design for this social networking app we have to make it professional so in order to uh, add a drawer layout before we proceed come here and here you can see that is uh, under this gradle scripts here it is written that is build dot gradle module app click on it okay so here you can see that uh, this one I'm that I'm talking about that is com dot android dot support app compact. Okay, you can simply uh, copy this line. Okay, control C and uh, let's move to the next line and you can simply paste it here. Okay, and remove this m compact minus v7 colon twenty six point one. Okay, remove this and here we can simply write d e s i g and design colon twenty six point plus okay so make sure to use the same which i write here that is com.android.support colon design colon 26 point plus now you can simply click on this sync now and wait for it it will sync this dependency so that we can use the design for our app bar layout and also for the navigate navigation driver uh, dry, drawer 
which we will be using okay inside our the school social networking app so the dependency is set up set up correctly okay we have set it correctly now close this app and now let's go here to the activity main.xml click on this text and you can simply select this relative layout and instead of the relative layout we will use the driver or drawer layout that is, that is this one okay you can see that click on it and now if i click design you can see that it is the drawer layout okay now we have to add a relative layout inside this drawer layout so click on this text and inside this drawer layout we can simply say that is relative layout and the width should be match parent height should be match parent okay so yeah click on this design and now if i click here you can see that this is our relative layout so now we need basically a frame layout okay since we are going to add our drawer layout so here we can simply write here in the search box frame and you can see that this appeared that is frame layout a uh, frame layout okay so drag and drop this frame layout here okay so this is our frame layout so let's give ids to these i mean these things which we add okay so to the frame layout we will give id we will call it as a man container okay man container and uh, here uh, as you know that we will be basically displaying all the users first since this will be our home activity okay so we need a recycler view okay so we can say recycler view drag and drop this recycler view here okay so you can see that it is added okay and now let's call this recycler view i mean let's give id to it and let's call it all users post list all user post list and now the most important thing is to add the navigation view okay so click on this text and come down here we have a relative layout then we have frame layout and now let me show to you guys the preview okay so after this uh, relative layout okay we can say we can add a navigation view here okay so navigation and navigate here navigation view this one okay so the width should be wrap content and the height should be match parent okay for the navigation view and now let's uh, do some i mean some do some custom changes for our navigation view so we will say gravity sorry the layout gravity okay so we can say layout gravity a and d or android colon layout gravity layout underscore gravity equals to okay and here we can say start okay so you can see that the navigation view moves to the left side okay so make sure to do the same which i did here okay that is android column layout underscore gravity equals to and inside this quotation we write start so which moves to the left side okay and here we can say that is layout margin top Oh, sorry not top i mean this one layout margin bottom and it should be 3 dp so the next thing is basically to add the navigation menus okay uh, just like that is the home the settings the find friends and the searching options we will adding there okay and the profile image or we will add i mean to this navigation drawer Uh, things like that okay and the profile name so for doing that uh, we will basically create a layout file for that okay that is the dot xml file so let's first create a directory uh, i mean the folder for it okay so click on this res click new and here you can simply uh, click on this android resource directory 
and now here uh, name it that is the name for our directory will be menu m e n u menu okay click ok and you can see that it is created successfully okay that is this one menu okay now click here and click new and from here you can simply click on this menu resource file and name it as navigation menu n a v i g navigation underscore menu okay here we will add the men uh, the navigation royal menus basically click ok and if i open it you can see that this is our navigation menu.xml file which is this one okay so now click on this text and inside this menu we will create that items okay so we can say item and close this okay and inside this we can say id id and the first one will be the for the post for the fro i mean we have to create here the option so first one will be our home option okay so we have given it the id nav home and let's give it the title android title and the title will be home okay and just for the time saving we will simply copy this item and we will add more options we will change it for that okay so paste it here okay so the first one is our home okay and the second one will be let's change the id for the second one the second one will be for the friends okay and the third one will be for the okay let's change the title also that is we, when user click on this friends we will display all his friends okay and then we we will change this to the nav find friends okay so when a user click on this find friends option let's change the title also to the find friends okay so when a user click on this option he will basically search for his friend from school college university or anywhere around the world and let's change this to the messages okay nav messages this will be for the chatting feature which we will be adding to our this social networking app okay and this one will be for the settings so we can say s e w t i n g s settings nav settings where a user will basically set his profile information like image and etc the status etc etc okay and then at the end let's paste it one more time okay we will also add more further information but for now we are just adding these information okay and the next one will be the logout okay logout button or you can say the option when a user click on it you will basically log out the user from there okay so for now we just add the home friends find people messages settings and log out but also we will be adding more uh, features i mean in the next video tutorial okay in this video i just want to add i mean include this uh, navigation drawer on our main activity but once we do that we will add also the icons and uh, let me run the, the app okay let me complete this then you will see it that is how it appears on our navigation dryer okay which will be here i mean at the site these are just the options which we created that is the navigation menus so in order to add this on the navigation dryer or you can say on our main activity we will simply go to the activity main.xml file so here inside our activity main.xml file when inside this navigation view just right after this layout margin bottom here we can simply say app underscore menu app menu and here we can say at the right menu and you can see this option that is the navigation menu which is the name of our this menus or you can say the options okay so we basically add that op these are that options here okay inside on our main activity for this navigation view okay we add the navigation menu here okay so now let's run our app and see if it works or not okay so yeah everything is okay okay now let's run our app and see if it is working or not
so wait for it okay we run our app and let's check so we are on our main activity and I if I draw here you can see that the navigation drawer is working properly I mean it is awesome okay so this is our home friends and all the options which we add here okay so this is uh, it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will further work on this navigation drawer in the next video tutorial we will add icons to these options okay which is the home friend and etc and we will also add further options to our navigation drawer, drawer and also we will add a header here for the navigation drawer where we will basically uh, display the user profile image and the user name and the user full name so yeah this is it for this video and in the next video we will further work on it and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel like this video and put a comment below take care of yourself and see you guys in the next video bye for now